if you are constantly breaking Ten Commandments, and if you're Catholic, you worship a Pope, you uh, believe in a Godhead, a Triune God of Trinity, you believe these have the authority that's outside of, of this Bible right here, and, and um, the Pope and Popes are not the second coming of Jesus Christ or Advent, and therefore, where did they get this authority? They they did they don't have this authority. This authority was um, enormous deception, and part of the Catholic Church startup, the Roman Catholic Church, was the Roman government that did this and persecuted the Christians terribly, and then um, took over all of Christianity for a while, and um, centered it in Rome, and then built the Vatican. And these impressive, um, the Vatican is impressive, and these cathedrals and churches are there to deceive. And if you look carefully in, in the Vatican and any Catholic cathedral or church, you're going to see deception all over. And they have no authority to name saints. They have no, no authority to say these things are holy or sacred or divine. Uh, these have no authority to do many things that those uh, were claiming uh, those had the authority to do. Therefore, um, Ted is arguing the Catholic Church is mostly under the possession of Satan and Satan's demons. And that most Sunday keeping churches are mostly under the possession of Satan and Satan's demons. And even the Seventh-day Adventist Church is more under the possession of Satan and Satan's demons and the Seventh-day Baptist Church also than um, they should be because they also have false doctrines including a Godhead, a, a triumph God, and a Trinity. This is how entire churches can have enormous possession problems of the entire church, including their clergy, all that work for them, and their members.